Thanks for listening to the NVTV podcast, produced by Niqua Media. Welcome to this episode of the NVTV podcast. I'm Rudula Natarajan. On today's show, we'll be talking about the Fine Arts Festival. Joining me today is Bridget Lorge, a singer in the Fine Arts Festival. Bridget, thank you for being here today. Of course. All right, so first off, when is the Fine Arts Festival? The Fine Arts Festival is Saturday, May 18th. Perfect. Um, And I guess what is the Fine Arts Festival? I know I've been going to it for years, but just for anybody that doesn't know what it is. So basically... It is a festival of art and music from elementary school up to high school. Perfect. Um, And what are some of the events that they have there as part of the festival? So they have art pieces and then they have choir, band, and orchestra. Got it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, I think that's what it is too. Um, Yeah, I know that the art pieces are like lined up throughout the hallways. Mm -hmm. And it's, I, I believe it's from the elementary schools and middle schools that will end up going to Niqua. Yeah, that's so it's, it. Yeah. It's not just like all of 204. Mm-hmm. Um, and then what is your role in the Fine Arts Festival? So I'm in I'm in choir, and I am in another um, out-of-school uh, choir group, so we're both singing. Got it. Um, and what choir are you in? Uh, I'm in Varsity 2 choir. Perfect. Um, And what have you been doing to prepare for the Fine Arts Festival as a class? And then, like, if you've been doing anything in your own time? Um, So we have class every day, whether it's combined or uncombined, because sometimes we'll combine with the senior choir, which is Varsity Chamber. Um, Also, on different days of the week, each vocal section has sectionals, where we work as a section on parts that we are Um, having troubles within the song. And then personally outside, um, I'm just working on the songs by myself, just getting them stuck in my head and then practicing. Got it. Um, And for things like sectionals and then like combining with the other choirs, have you been doing that throughout the year too, not just for Fine Arts Festival, but just kind of in general? Yeah, we've kind of been switching off um, throughout the year for other concerts. Um, But actually starting tomorrow for the rest of the year, we're going to be combined. So we will be with the senior choir for the rest of the year, up until Fine Arts Festival. Okay, perfect. Um, And the Fine Arts Festival kind of, like, closes off. Yeah, that's our last last performance. Got it. Um, And you've done Fine Arts Festival before, correct? Mm Mm-hmm. Perfect. Um, Did you do it, like, in elementary school and middle school, or, like, when – do you remember when you started? Yeah, um, started in elementary school because everyone had art – um, and then middle school with orchestra and then choir and then high school just in choir. Perfect. Um, and what is your favorite part of the Fine Arts Festival every year? Um, my favorite part is seeing all the artwork and all of the other, um, choirs perform because I get to look back at everyone else and say like, oh, that was me. And get to see how much growth they have and implement it into myself because I've had so much growth over the years. Yes, exactly. No, even though like I haven't been in the Fine Arts Festival in so long, like I stopped doing music in high school and stuff and same with art, but I came to the Fine Arts Festival last year and I just love to see like how talented everybody was, especially like the high schoolers because I don't really go to a lot of the choir concerts or like orchestra performances and stuff like that but just to see it all on display and like see these art students that never really get any recognition for anything that they do it's so cool to see like what our own students are doing yeah I feel like fine arts festival is really just like a final performance of everything which is really good for people to come to but people should definitely come to choir concerts throughout the year crystal is on the Nequa bucket list for one thing that everyone should do before they finish high school yeah crystal concert and then we have so many other concerts for band orchestra and choir that people should come through throughout the year exactly I agree I think going to the fine arts festival is a great way to like kickstart that and inspire people to go watch that more especially because I know it's most of it is free 
Mm-hmm. And oh, it, it's it's all free, and you get to bring middle schoolers in. That's kind of like, yeah, our point of it is to show oh. middle schoolers oh, high right. school. Yeah, because I remember I did fine arts festival in middle school, and we combined with the other middle schools. Yes, yeah, that that's what we're doing. That's right. Um, got it. Cool. Um, and what has your? I know we kind of just covered this, but what has your experience been like throughout the years? Not just in fine arts festival, but as a music student as well. And how do you think you've grown as a music student? Oh, I've definitely grown as a music student. Um, yeah, elementary school with just art. That was it. I was in choir. And then sixth grade and seventh grade, I was in orchestra. And I switched over to choir at eighth grade. And from then, oh, like, I think that was a good decision. So now I've done choir um for four years, and I plan on doing it next year, too, and I just feel like I've gotten a lot of growth from the teachers here and from all of the work that seems rigorous in the moment and seems like a lot for a choir class really, really pays off, and you can see that in the concerts. Yeah, I bet. You can physically see how much like a single choir grows from the beginning of the year to the end. Wow. It's crazy. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. In a way, I feel like it's kind of like playing a sport, you know? Kind you're doing with your it voice. Every day. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You're playing with your voice. Um, and what, so you were talking about how you can, like, physically, and I guess, like, yeah, you can, like, physically see and hear a choir grow throughout the year. Mm. But what is your favorite part of being in choir? Definitely the people. It's a it's my favorite place to go every single day. It's definitely been my favorite class. And because you start out the year with one group, with one choir that you're in, and then later on you'll combine. So then combine. Later on you'll combine. And everyone gets to meet each other, and it's first thing in the morning, and everyone is just happy to be with each other, and it really just, like, sets your mood for the day. Oh, nice. Um, and what... What have you guys, I guess as a as a choir, can you give us like a little preview of what you guys will be performing? I mean, you don't have to sing or anything. You don't okay. have to sing or anything <laughs> like that. But just like what kinds of music will you guys be performing at the Fine Arts Festival? So we are singing some choir songs from our choir. We're singing with the middle schoolers. We're singing a song from Wicked with the middle schoolers. Ooh. You know, everyone likes that. Um, and then we're doing some some senior songs talks a lot about, you know, leaving and, like, Aww. taking something with you. I know, they're, they're really sad. Um, but we're also doing some super fun songs, too. Um, I know that Chamber Singers is doing Ain't No Grave, which is a gospel-like song, oh, which is nice. super fun to hear. We did it at our concert last night. Oh, wow. So. Awesome. Um, and similarly to the last question, what can – families and people that are coming to the fine arts festival what can they expect in general um there is a lot of different places to go to um you can expect to just see a lot at once um but also you should definitely map out where your kids are before you go into this because every single year my parents have gotten lost and I've honestly gotten lost too because a lot of them are in the auditorium or in the gym and in different gyms and then yeah. in the hallways too. Yeah. It's, but you can expect a lot. It's so all over the place. And I know it's not just like, oh, choir is going to be in the auditorium all day. It's like, no, like different choirs are performing mm-hmm. at different times, different bands. Like we don't just have one band. We don't just have one orchestra. We have like, oh, I forgot the word, but we have like, we have different bands that are mm. playing in different spots. Yeah. So if it's important to figure out what times those are playing too because you don't want to miss out on that as mm-hmm. well. Um, so obviously you're a junior right now, mm-hmm. um, but do you have a lot of seniors? At, you have a lot of seniors in the, the varsity chamber choir, um, and you guys are combined, right? Mm-hmm. Like now? Yeah, we, yeah we, we combine every Tuesday and Thursday, but then, like I said, in, in earlier concerts, when we have been combined for like two, three months at a time, it's a really good time to get to know people, which makes everything a lot harder. Because we're singing at graduation and I get to watch everyone leave and oh sing with gosh. them. Oh, it makes everything so emotional. Oh my gosh. I had no idea you were singing at graduation. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be great. Varsity 2 is singing there. Nice. I'm not so sure if choirs are, it, oh, 
if orchestras or bands are doing anything at graduation. I just know that Maybe. choir is. No, I think it's just the choir. I, yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, I I'm sorry like if there is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, wow, well, very bittersweet moment. I mean, it's great to go to the Fine Arts Festival and see all this stuff and reflect on how you've grown, but definitely over the years, you kind of, j- it just becomes more sentimental, mm-hmm. especially because, like, like I've been, like, like you were saying, like, you've been doing it since elementary school. I had stuff in it in elementary school, and then I kind of, like, stopped once I stopped doing the arts, mm-hmm. but it's still so great to see everything, and it just makes it that much harder to leave even though we're only mm-hmm. juniors so we don't I have to know, worry about it but I still have to think about it now <sighs> gosh um yeah second to last one I know um, it's crazy all right it is crazy um well thank you for being here today thank you to Bridget Lorge for joining us today on the NVTV podcast um the NVTV podcast is produced by media students of Nequa Valley High School enjoy the rest of your day